closed tomorrow. You want to pack your patience. The Montana Department of Transportation will close the freeway for avalanche mitigation from 10 to 3. The I-90 eastbound closure will be located just west of the Taft interchange and the westbound closure will be located at the Haugen interchange. The freeway was closed for just over 24 hours on Wednesday afternoon when slides came down across the westbound lanes in the canyon east of Lookout. The closure will impact both east and westbound traffic, giving crews room to use explosive charges to set off a controlled slide. Some traffic will be allowed through using pilot cars. Speeds will be reduced and you can expect some delays. If you have to go to Idaho, you take Highway 135 through St. Regis up to Highway 200 and on into Idaho. Well, a well-known Butte priest was one of those caught by surprise in Wednesday's avalanche on I-90. MTN's John Amy spoke with the priest today about the experience. Driving west on Interstate 90 near St. Regis, Butte priest Father Patrick Beretta heard a rumbling sound and then he was hit by an avalanche. I mean, truly it was as if the uh the whole mountain was, was falling on top of us. I mean, it was just that dramatic. There was this giant, giant wall uh, of snow. There in his Jeep with his two dogs, there was nothing he could do when the snow pushed his vehicle toward the median. You're there at, at the mercy of the elements. You know, I placed myself in, in the arms of Christ and, and, and you have to wait and, and, uh, and it stopped. And, uh, and I was just incredibly grateful. Fortunately, his vehicle was only partially covered with snow, and the other motorists on the road were unharmed in the massive avalanche. But he and other motorists were stranded for seven hours before the highway could be cleared. And so we, but we bonded, it was, a, it was a great atmosphere. You know, it's, it's kind of, we called ourselves the avalanche family. Father Beretta said he was thankful for all the emergency responders who helped get them out. He says the experience reinforced his belief in the value of human life and his mission to be a force of good in the world. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Now, here's your storm tracker weather forecast 